students, welcome to class three and also welcome to the e-learning classes of Rogers Academy. Well, as you know that we are not able to go to school and we are not studying at all, but now we have to study from home, okay? So before I begin the class of today, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Shivani Gurung and I'll, teach you, I'll be teaching you SST science and moral science. Hmm? So today we are going to study SST. So I would request all of you to take SST book, a rough copy, pencil and eraser with you. So shall we begin? Yes. So today we will be studying about the very first chapter that is time and calendars. So I would request all of you to open the book. That is page number 10, chapter number 1 of SST. I, I really hope you all are having this book. Isn't it? It's my world and I. Okay. So, yes. In this chapter, we will be covering three topics. Understood? Or we will be learning about the three things. That is time and calendar and also timeline. Okay. So, firstly, we will start with time. Now, what is time? How time is useful in our life? Can you imagine your life without time? Well, no, right? If there is no time, how will you know? When shall you go to school? When shall you return from your school? When will you play? When will you go to, when will you sit for studying? When will you eat your food? So everything is systematic. Why? Because of the time. If there would have been no time, there would have no mornings and no nights. That's why time is very, very important for all of us. Why? Because it tells us about a particular thing. When did it really happen? Okay. For example, if I'll ask you, when do you go to school? At what time your school starts? Then you will tell me, my school starts from 9 a.m. in the morning. Then you're telling me, what is the time that your school starts? It's 9 a.m. in the morning. So I'm able to know that your school is going to start from 9 in the morning. And if I'll ask you a similar question like that again, when will you return from your school? Or when does your school gets over? Then you'll tell me my school gets over at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. So that is again how I'm able to know the timing of your school getting over. So that is how we are able to know time or we are able to know how a particular thing has happened in the past or will happen in the future. Similarly, if I ask you, when were you born? So you will say me, suppose, keep it 5th June. I was born in 5th June 2005, keep it. So I know that you were born on 5th June 2005 because you are giving me the exact time okay so again uh, again i'll ask you which month is your birthday then you'll tell me my birthday is in the month of june so how again i'm knowing the time with the help of the month okay as you know days what is a day monday tuesday wednesday thursday these are all the seven days of a week years how old are you you will tell me i'm eight years old i'm seven years old so again i'm able to know that how old are you you're seven or eight years old. So that is how we study time. Okay. The next, let us move to the calendar. Now, what is calendar? I hope everybody has a calendar at their homes. Isn't it? At your house, you will be having a calendar. Now, how calendar is useful for all of us? Calendar is useful for all of us because if you have seen the calendar very carefully, we will see all the dates are mentioned along with the days. Isn't it? In the calendar, days are mentioned as well as the month and whether it is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's all mentioned over there on the calendar. Along with that, what is also mentioned? The events, the festivals, be it national festival, be it religious festival, everything is mentioned in the calendar. That is how we know when a particular thing is going to happen. Okay, if you have noticed all the Sundays, that is the weekends, is being colored with red. 
okay so that is how calendar is useful for us so that we know when a particular event festival anything is going to happen in the future okay that's why it keeps us updated for the future understood so lastly we will come to the timeline now what is a timeline again a timeline is very very important why because it will give us a series of understanding of when a particular thing has happened in a order for example i'll give you a small example if i ask you please go home this is your work your homework now what you have to do is you have to write all the birthdays of your family from starting from the earliest to the latest that is starting from your grandparents to the younger ones your siblings your brothers your sisters so how will you put who was first born at your family obviously your grandparents isn't it grandmother grandfather then your father mother so that is how you will put the birthdays accordingly from the earlier to the latest that is who is born recently at your family you will keep that person in the recent time so what does timeline does to us how it is useful it is useful for us to know when all the events have happened in our life okay so you also can make a timeline of your own and i would love to tell you that please do that and make it it is in page number 13 and uh, the yellow box if you have seen it uh, third box third yellow box try to make this in your copy okay and uh, if you have any today for today we will be studying this three topics next class i'll be explaining more about it till then please i hope you have written down this thing and um, hope you have understood the chapter if any doubt let me know okay till then take care